We move on to the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp defamation trial just on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. It is getting uglier by the day as their personal and often toxic testimonies unravel in public. It doesn't look like anything less than a deeply unseemly Hollywood drama. Here's a quick roundup of Amber Heard's cross-examination from last night. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not deck you. I was hitting you. you I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. Oh, no, a hug will save it all. All this, all this, everything you just wanted, I, I just wanted to touch you. Seriously. Really? After all the shit you yes, just said? I just wanted to give after you a hug. After all the shit you fucking yes, used me up, yes, you want to please, touch me? Please, stop me. Please stop. We'll never see each other again. Please. You want to neck? Don't take my glasses off. You know my looking at not my eyes. You will not see my eyes again. What that conversation is about is about the disparity, uh, uh, this, the disparity between Johnny and I in our physical fights. The disparity of how he would proactively punch me. And I would have to resort to reactively hitting him. I am talking about the difference between a punch, which Johnny did often, and me having to hit him in my defense. He was wearing rings on that occasion? I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay, let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 170A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Ms. Heard? Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. And there's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. At one point, he ripped the top of my shirt. I don't really remember what it was, but I remember I had a breast expo exposed. At some point, I um, pull at his lapel of his shirt, and he rips the shirt off of him and wraps it around my neck. And um, that's how I woke up the next morning, actually. I woke up with it still around my neck and with um, a giant knot in the back of my head. First of all, I, I don't think that's funny. I don't know what a grown woman does. I, I, I was not also in a pranking mood. I had my life was falling apart. I was um, at a crossroads in my life that was really serious and I had just been attacked on my 30th birthday by my violent husband with whom I was desperately in love and knew I needed to leave. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's funny, period. That's disgusting. Johnny freaked out uh, because it, it looked like me. It, it, they had used a body double. Uh, un unbeknownst to me, without my permission, they used a body double to do a sex scene. So I have an incredibly jealous man who already uh, is upset with me for breaking the rule that I had a sex scene. On top of that, I'm telling him it wasn't me. I didn't shoot that scene. And you can imagine um, how upset he was. He was um, irate and was calling me a liar, uh, among other things. And we had this, that combined with the fact that I had even entertained doing this job that involved James Franco was a, a, a pressure cooker. Um, I called it a week of hell. Um, oh, he also put cigarette, cigarettes out on himself. Um, he'd flick them at me um, and once or twice tried to put one out on me, but mostly he would do it while screaming at me. Uh, he once did it right in front of me screaming um, at, at my face as he, as he put the cigarette out on his cheek.